good news in a world full of bad news. And I don't think I need to explain the latter part. The world is full of really bad news. And we don't have to get into the details. We just know the world is in trouble. But I have some good news for you. And it's this. The outcome is inevitable. The outcome is assured. The whole entire universe can only return to love. That is part of its function. The universe moves out, it expands, and then it comes back in. It moves out and it expands, and then it comes back in. This is the great breathing in and out of God. There's the Big Bang, and then there's the Big Crunch. Over and over and over again, the universe returns to source. It has to. That's just the way the universe functions. So, returning to source is inevitable, scientifically. That's the only thing that it can do. So I've got some news for you. You're worried about the world? You're worried about the way things are and how they're gonna turn out? Hmm? You don't have to be. That's the good news. Things are gonna change for the better, no matter what. No matter what, it is a scientific fact even. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's the way that our universe functions. Everything always returns to love. Now, to get to love, old systems have to break down first. So that could mean a lot of trouble. That could mean a lot of Agony, pain, drama, commotion, fighting, war, famine, strife. I mean, you name it. And the world is certainly experiencing all of those things and then some. But when things break down, when the ego dies, it dies a painful and agonizing and way overly dramatic death. But when it's gone, what's left? Love. I remember when I went through my dark night of the soul experience. Dark night of the soul, ego death. In traditional Zen spiritualism, they call dark night of the soul ego death. Same thing. When I went through my experience, it was horrible. I experienced a sense of meaninglessness, desperation, like my very identity was breaking down, who and what I was as a person, dying. And when things die, it fucking hurts! <laughs> Look at our world. What do you think is happening to our world, guys? Same thing, just on a bigger level. Why? Because a higher consciousness is trying to emerge. That's what happened to me. That's what happens to all my students. You experience this ego death, this breakdown of the old form of identity. But after it's gone, what's left? Consciousness, a higher state of being, love. That's all that can happen. It's inevitable. It's a scientific fact even. There is no other thing that could possibly happen. Now, how long will it take for us to get from here to there? I don't know. It could be that someday you'll be on your deathbed decades from now and the world could be a lot worse. But 100, 200 years from now, there might be some improvements. Change takes place slowly in our world. So don't be fooled 
Don't be fooled by the drama. Don't be fooled by it. It's part of a bigger plan. And it's a bigger plan that transcends time. It's taking place over such a large quantity of time. I mean, the changes that civilization is going through right now have been prophesized in many holy texts thousands of years ago. This takes time, guys. But I assure you that there is good news. The outcome is assured. The only place we can go is love. So relax. Thank you for watching.